And, and we're back. We're back with even more Zillow, which is just like the stupidest thing I could think of. But it's fun for me to look at these apartments and talk shit about them. We're moving. Where are we moving to? How about somewhere out west? How about... Uh, what do you think? How about Billings, Montana? Uh, I don't know anything about Billings. It's not a very big town. I know that, right? So we want to make sure we take these price limits out of here because we don't know anything about the Billings real estate market. So we can't make intelligent decisions. All right. So we need, we need to go to Billings in Google Maps as well. Then we need to go to Billings in Wikipedia too because otherwise we won't have the necessary pieces of information to purchase housing in Billings. We're moving to Billings. How big is Billings? Um, there's 100,000 people in Billings. So it's pretty small. Uh, it is it is the capital of Montana, right? It's the largest city in Montana. No, it's not the capital of Montana. Nicknamed the Magic City. Um, it's not, not the capital. So it's central downtown Billings. Beautiful downtown Billings. <laughs> We're not here to just talk shit about Billings, though. We're here to talk shit about the city of Billings and, and real estate in it. Okay. We'll be looking at real estate prices here. These are like 1.4s and stuff like that. These are going to be like multi-unit dwellings, uh, not like standalone houses. So like I like looking in the old parts of town, in the city, and looking at this, uh, it really looks to me like this is the old Billings. That's not even part of Billings, I don't think. Let's, uh, now hold on, we weren't done. Let's zoom out a little bit. The city limits of Billings are massive. But this looks like all empty, right? This looks to me like this is downtown Billings right here. Uh, let's find out. It's an area called North Park. Uh, this is like all the hospitals and stuff. Here's Montana State University. Uh, yeah, let's go to the sat view here. Okay, yeah, this is downtown Billings. Right, this is kind of like a, a neighborhood around it. Uh, there's there's the hospital. Uh, there's the university. There's the fucking airport. Holy shit, man! Everything is right up on it, isn't it? Um, and this is this is all suburbs up here. But this is the main drag here, 87 here, onto whatever that is down there. Okay, so I mean the urban part of Billings, and then there's like little sub neighborhoods and stuff. Okay. So that's enough information for us to proceed from there. So like this is downtown Billings and this is not. This is the nearby near neighborhood. All right. So, uh, well, let's see. You want to live in the hospital district? Yeah, sure. Let's live in the fucking hospital district in Billings. I'm sure it's not a problem at all. Oh, my God. I fucking hate this already. Look at this fucking sided monstrosity. Oh, it's, it's so ugly. It's so ugly. I live in a multi-unit building right now and it's not this fucking ugly. Uh, all right, um, it's three bedrooms and three baths, 1,500 or 1,400 square feet. That Man, these fucking mortgage payments are out of control, aren't they? All right, all three bedrooms have their own private balcony to north and south. Okay, to north or south, perhaps, is what you mean. I mean, maybe you mean, maybe, it's, maybe there's a balcony on each side, though. That seems unlikely, doesn't it? A secured entrance, gated parking garage, two cars, personal storage unit, elevator, meeting room, rooftop deck, uh... Common areas in multi-unit apartment buildings are ass. They're, they're, they're terrible. And you don't want to live there, so you don't want to use them. So they're never really assets towards uh, living there. They're never really worthwhile. All right, uh, let's see. Take a tour. Um, it's a condo. It was built in 1985. It has central air in Billings, which is interesting, right? Because Billings is probably pretty cool. Um, it's a northern city. Uh, well, here's a record high, mean, average high, 86. So it gets warm in July and August, uh, a little bit in June, but it's, um, it's just pretty hospitable, uh, temperature wise. Uh, I bet it's low humidity. Uh, well, you know, 50, 50 or so. I mean, there's some in the winter or in the summer, it's, it's pretty dry though. These, these numbers here are pretty low. 
All right, I bet it's super sunny. Yeah, it's super sunny. Uh, all right, so that's interesting. Uh, having lived in the great north now, I definitely understand the appeal of 18 hours of sunlight. Uh, I hate the exterior of the building. I mean, I bet Billings is virtually crime-free, uh, <laughs> for what it's worth. Let's look at the history of this place. All right, it was sold in 2019, and they're ready to move uh, two years later. That's interesting. Uh, they added eight, uh, 90000 nearly to the uh, price in that time frame. That's it's interesting, isn't it? Isn't it? It looks like they had trouble selling it initially. Sold for 214000 and now they're selling it for three hundred. Two two years later. So I wonder if they did work on it. Uh, it's property taxes. That's not super high. Um, I don't know anything about the schools. Who the fuck knows? They're really low rated though. These, these are actually very low. Like these are shitty schools. <laughs> uh, yeah, so okay. Real estate prices are going up there. All right, let's let's have a look. Oh god, it's just so fucking ugly. It's so fucking ugly outside. It's so ugly. All right, great, a shared entrance. It has mirrors, so you can have sex in front of them. All right. Um, here's what looks like a living room. It's fairly narrow for for a larger place. Now this is kind of near the uh, university district, right? It was right about here. The university is up here. That's a bit far away if you're in college, but there's. I bet there's like two buses in Billings, and they probably go that way. Um, not even both ways. Three hundred thousand dollars in Billings seems like a lot. I hate a sink with two barrels. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, white appliances, so they're old, but a stainless microwave, so that got replaced. Uh, this weird little nook. That's interesting. There's a bunch of cabinet space. This is a hole in paint pantry here, so you could actually store food in here. It's pretty narrow. Uh, these countertops look new. And no door poles at all. So you can't tell whether the cabinetry was hung poorly or not. You can still tell. You can still tell. Uh, old old dishwasher as well. So this is not not received a modern treatment. This is as old as it is. These, these two appliances are particularly old. Uh, gas as well. Uh, so there is this weird balcony space. I mean, I, it's semi-private. Laminate floors. Wood is a fake wood veneer. Okay. See, look at this. I was talking about this in Baltimore, right? This is a modern coax uh, outlet. There's no, there's no cable just hanging out on the floor from a hole in the wall. How do you rehab a building and you don't update the wiring? All right, this weird little um, ledge all around it. I guess if you have a lot of plants, but Billings probably doesn't have a great glow, growing season. And from what we saw on the outside, uh, there's not a lot of light here. Look, an oval toilet. Uh, if, if these two are drawers, Oh, but there's a big cabinet over here. This might be an acceptable bathroom. Fucking black chrome. What is with that shit? Uh, ancient um, plastic or fiberglass shower enclosure. Hey, at least it's easy to clean, right? Uh, fake tile, though, is an interesting choice, right? More, more of this. This is laminate and then wood veneer. So, like, all of this is really cheap. It'll sound cheap when you walk on it. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it'll feel cheap. Uh, no mirror. No, no mirror. Yeah, okay, sure. I mean, that's really weird. That's real weird. Uh, but hey, there's counter space. This fucking fixture was not sold with this sink. These don't match. This doesn't match. Here's one with a mirror. That actually has a cabinet and there's extra spaces. This is the first bathroom we saw. So this isn't a horrible bathroom. I'm not sure you'd want all your stuff sticking out, but between this and that, if you had some plastic organizers in here, I think you'd, you'd be comfortable with this bathroom as far as like putting, putting all your shit in there. Inexplicable leftover furniture. Uh, so are, there's there no carpet in this unit. Is it all this, uh, this, um, this fake floor? Washer dryer in unit. That's always nice. 
Um, they're old though. Again, these are like the appliances from the 80s. Like that stove and that dishwasher might be from 85 when this place was first built. Uh, what the fuck is this? Is this a common area? It doesn't look like it's part of the apartment, does it? This looks like a common area. That's a fucking elevator. It's a common area. Man, seating in common areas just attracts people that you don't want sitting outside your apartment. Lots of parking lot view. Um, nice. Too bad you didn't have your dick out when you took that picture. Just saying. I don't know about this fucking porch. It's dark and cold and... I mean, I guess it's not going to be full of snow, but it's... It's, it's like... What does it add? <laughs> like... A place to go smoke or something? I mean, it's so dark and shaded. Okay, this is this place, not worth $300,000. I don't care what the market is in, in Billings. The furnishing and the fixtures and the doors and the windows, they look like they're from 1985. I'm surprised the door would be intact from, from 1985. Um, the schools and buildings apparently blow balls <laughs> for what that's worth in case you're in case you're planning on having kids yeah this this is a this is a shithole there's an hoa fee in this place too i would never ever live in this place not for a day all right uh let's keep shopping 130k two bedroom two baths this looks like it's gonna be a detached house this is a good sign <laughs> It's a good sign let's see it's a two-story condo located within walking distance of msu billings it's Montana State University Billings, downtown Billings, St. Vincent Healthcare, and the Billings Clinic. All right. So at a hospital, uh, you know, if you work in a hospital, it's nice to be by a hospital. If you don't work in a hospital, it is not nice to be by a hospital. All right. Uh, no air conditioning. Uh, you know, in Billings, you probably get away with it. This, <laughs> you can't put an air conditioner in this window, by the way, because of its shape and size. There's an HOA fee for some reason. That's a little weird. Look how low the fucking mortgage is on this place. Uh, all right. Um, uh, man, it it was listed for that's far fetched. It was listed for uh, 180k in February of this year, and it's since been dropped by <laughs> 50k. Somebody wants to sell this. Uh, you know, hey, if you're looking for a place in Billings. Um, so it's currently at 130k. Uh, though they were they were renting it before, now they're trying to sell it. Uh, yeah, it's under man. Its assessed value is 107 thousand dollars, and they're trying to sell it for 30 thousand dollars above that. That's crazy, right? T property taxes are going down, which means it's decaying. Decaying. What is with this homeowner fee? What's that about? Uh, shitty schools. Uh, what, 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 what year was this built in? That, there's, that information's not here. Oh, 1964. Ooh. Lead paint. Alright. Oh, not many pictures. Oh, look at this siding. Okay. I mean, you need a big sip there. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I mean, in the 60s, maybe that was okay. This giant hole in the fucking wall. You couldn't fix this before taking a picture of it? Put some duct tape over it? Fuck. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh. You know, this is an original fixture. That's the hot air return, it looks like. Or the cold air return. I'm a little confused by that floor. It looks like it's probably vinyl. Yeah, it's vinyl. This is a vinyl floor. Okay, I mean, it just looks like it's wood. It's actually vinyl. Uh, all right, the shower has been updated since... Oh, fuck me. Is it just me or does this look horribly unsafe? Why is there no cover on this fluorescent? Man... Every morning you get up, you turn on that fluorescent like, and then you stand under it and stare in the mirror and question your choices for buying this fucking house. 
<laughs> uh, okay, so this is a new top, right? This is a new top, but you know, there's two. So the vanity is new, maybe. The sink is old, maybe. Tough to say. This looks new, though. This this chrome looks new. Um, glass doors. I guess there are worse things. Okay. This ranges from the 80s. Uh, looks like the, you got a door here that goes under the backyard. This vinyl is also from the 80s, it looks like to me, maybe earlier. This could be asbestos, this tile. New countertops in the kitchen and bath, and they match. So someone got a discount on replacing both pieces. The cabinets, however, look like they're from 1965, when the house was built. They, these cabinets look like they're from then. This is kind of like rustic wood color. I mean, this looks this looks like a fiberglass replacement for probably what was in here. Um, it's worse. There's definitely worse. Uh, okay, that half top window. I mean, it gives some privacy in the bedroom. There's a coax jack over there. It looks like. I don't. I don't know. You couldn't vacuum again. All right, I mean, there's not a lot of information in this place, but it does look like it hasn't really been updated since it was built. Uh, so there's probably some serious issues. The roof's probably pretty decayed. Um, it's weird. I mean, if you're looking for an entry-level house in, in Billings, maybe it'd be a, a value if you talk them down another 20K. They've already dropped the value 50K in the last um, two months. So if you can talk them down to $110,000, maybe, maybe you can go somewhere with it. Maybe you can tear it down and build a new one. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's go over here on the other side. So this is still real close to the university. It's a standalone house. It's four bedrooms and two baths. It's been on Zillow for eight days. It's getting a lot of interest. Uh, 1942, okay. Okay, you know, that's definite lead and asbestos issues, like right away. It's got central air though, so that's been updated because obviously there wasn't central air in 1942. Um, so uh, it's cute on the outside, right? This big old pine tree probably gives it a lot of shade. It probably doesn't get too hot in there. Blue is an interesting choice, but it looks like it might be fucking stucco, doesn't it? Which seems weird for Billings, but you never know. Uh, this place next door has got what looks like old wood siding. It hasn't been updated vinyl. Uh, you know, the landscaping could use some attention. Uh, it is stucco. It's stucco that's been painted blue. Well, look, there are worse colors than blue. Why are these fucking bricks here? Who knows? Uh, man, you paint the whole house, right? But you don't, you don't do, you don't fix the stucco right here and repaint this. Why? You want it to look like shit? <laughs> like, why Why don't you fix this little problem? It looks like it's going to have a full basement. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of the asymmetric windows, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it makes sense inside. Big yard, big lot. Uh, some raised beds that need some attention, it looks like. Maybe some extra dirt in there. You get those. They look like they're in all right shape, too. So maybe you can start gardening right away. A little fire pit, uh, outside seating, grill out there. There's a garage. Doesn't look like they're using that garage though, does it? Because there's a fucking table in the way. So it would be pretty hard to like drive your car in there if there's a table in there. And that's interesting. Is it too small for a modern car? I mean, if the house is from the 40s, it's possible. Hard to say. That is weird though, right? That's weird. They're using this as a patio and not a driveway. Nice big privacy fence all around the back. Uh, this door is interesting, isn't it? Why, why, why aren't they using it as a driveway? Hmm. Uh, okay, downspout. Water's being moved from the side of the house. That's good. Oh, this was split into a two flat. Those are both telephone boxes. That means there are two units in here at some point. Some serious cracking in the patio out there. Okay, that's interesting. It's been painted gray. So, the, you know, this is someone trying to sell a recent update. Uh, I mentioned this before. Gray is the new white <laughs> in houses. The base coat 
of most apartments now and houses now is now a light gray color, not white or ecru uh, or eggshell. So, okay, it used to have a fireplace and now it does not. Okay, sure. Um, this, oh, there's a space heater back there. There's a, that's a space heater. Ooh. There's a coax right there. For what? What's that? What's that going to? There's no TV, but there's a coax. Uh, okay, you know, hmm. this looks like it ha used to have a gas line, and it also has an electric outlet in it. So you, you could put one of those electric fireplaces in there if you were that sort of person. This is a blank uh, covering something. Uh, who knows what was up that high though? Uh, arch door, that's interesting. I mean, there's some charm in here. Uh, textured ceiling. They left the ceiling white, and that's an interesting choice. Uh, but I, I don't I don't hate this so far, um, which is unusual for me. Uh, okay, a strange little window panel in the middle of the door. Uh, hmm. There's like significant wear and tear on this door, and why didn't you paint it? You painted the rest of the, the room. Why didn't you paint the door? No airlock to the outside. Hopefully there's a screen on it, but who knows? Uh, you know, uh, some light here. These are low light plants or fake. Uh, hard to tell for sure. Um, but maybe a little privacy there. The this the backyard looks so big, and there was there was a privacy fence all around it. So I feel like you probably wouldn't spend much time in this room. No TV, so it's been staged, right? People don't live without televisions. Uh, okay, um, big tall bed. This is interesting, like this is where the place starts to kind of lose uh, thematic unity. All right, there's white baseboards in this room and then there's, there's wood baseboards in this room and a wood floor. And then there's this wood crown molding up here. Uh, gray wood white is weird. Like this is, that's a weird thing to do. I would have painted this white, I think, unless this is actually solid oak. Uh, okay, very small bathroom. Uh, this like low depth thing. Big sink for a small bathroom as well. Old style toilet, round instead of oval, but it doesn't matter. Your knees are gonna be touching this wall when you take a shit. You sit down, That's a, this is a very old pre uh, pre low flow, uh, pre water regulation toilet. Nursery, okay, sure. Uh, I mean, it's just another bedroom, I guess. Uh, here's that black tile we saw in the main room. Okay. There's actually eating space in this fucking kitchen. There's actually somewhere with a table. Of an actual family might be able to eat here. Uh, not one that took up four bedrooms because there's uh, not room for uh, five people. But. Uh, I mean, I like the fact that there's a fucking there's eating space in here. I would use this space if I lived here. Uh, it's a big, big, big space too. So, like with a different table, I this is this is uncomfortably high for some reason. The black tile in here is an interesting choice too. I bet they saved that. That's probably original tile. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, stainless steel appliances, except for the dishwasher, which is old. Uh, this island might be useful. I don't know. I'd probably get rid of it. There's a lot of counter space here. Look at this farmer sink. This looks like it might be the 1940 sink. I love the arcs over here. I really like it. Uh, the person who hung these doors was paying attention. Look at it. Most of these door poles are pretty level. There's an interesting situation here. This is a heat duct, it looks like. This is a vent. So who knows where it goes? Who knows where it goes? It's never clear. Uh, that's like a weather manager thing. Okay, I, I wanna see the, to the left now. No. Okay, great elephants in the bathroom. Another bedroom, it seems. Okay, this is the basement. Uh, they're using this as like a rec room or something. It's 
It's where all the liquor is. Hide the liquor in the basement, kids. You're not allowed down there. Ah, the television. And here's the, so this is off the center room. Another non-working fireplace. Hmm. That's a real shame. Uh, cable box on the floor. Nice. This is new, new, and it looks like it's that um that um like rubberized coating on the floor. This is on the third floor. It's this is a bedroom. This old heater in here. Uh, the ceiling's really weird, but you know, they're using it as a home office. All right, washer dryer on the other side of the basement. This is probably on the back side of the laundry room or the uh, the living room they had, the TV area. Chest freezer in there too. Ah, uh, this is interesting. This might be a duct from the kitchen. Cause it exhausts outside. No, I bet the furnace is right here. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Uh, boy, it really needs an airlock, doesn't it? But this big old backyard, all fenced in privately and stuff. Where do they park? Cause they have that weird backyard situation. Maybe they don't own a car. And there's no pictures of the garage as well. Well, this is a very interesting house. Like, I mean, the, the, the kitchen's relatively modern. I think a lot of people might want to tear this apart, but I actually quite like it. I'm very interested in that sink. Uh, I love this eating area. It's just fantastic. It's great. I don't know what's going on there, but that's interesting. I want to see more of it. Looks like maybe a coffee nook. The nursery, this is just a bedroom. It's not enough information to make there. The bathrooms are kind of small. And the toilet, this, this toilet, you wouldn't be able to put an oval toilet in here and like you'd be right up on that fucking wall with your knees too like this would not be a comfortable bathroom and there's no storage in it um I, this is all right i mean uh, uh, barring like horrible structural issues this is an interesting place huh oh this is that other bedroom this is the room they're using as an office it's above the garage hmm. nice you can smoke your weed in there this is expensive too What's the price history? Oh, it's never been sold. Um, but it's been going up in value. That's interesting. That's interesting. I like this place. There's like way worse places. Uh, 2.5 mil. This has got to be a multi unit, right? Whoa, no. Yes. Oh, God, it's awful. Oh, God. It's so awful. I, I, I might vomit. All right, let's take a look at this. 2.5 million, five bedroom, six bath. Why do you need so many baths? Uh, $11,000 a month uh, mortgage payment. It's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece and fucking ugly. Uh, I hate this roof line so much already too. Um, it's been on Zillow 71 days. It's a meticulously maintained custom home, just under one acre. In, in, is centered in the heart of Poet Streets. Okay, sure. That's like a neighborhood or something. Enter through the gorgeous foyer with beaming ceilings. Beaming ceilings? What? And gas fireplace. Continue to the professional chef's kitchen. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, and butler's pantry, which lends, lends an entertaining on a grand scale. Home offers five ensuite bathrooms family room and living room formal dining room look looks to the private back patio and pool backyard features a pool house with a kitchenette area bath and living space oh okay so you can have kato kaylin back there if you want a single family 2008 gas forced air and central air attached garage with door opener aha uh -huh. holy shit it's been down low hasn't it uh, was it sub 1 million? Yeah, look at that. It was at 900k in October of 2020. Was that an auction maybe or a bank price? Now it's being sold at 2.6. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Look at this. In 2018, it was down at 800k. This house is not worth 2.5 million dollars. 
Um, it doesn't look like it's ever been sold. It's been listed over and over, uh, and no one's bought it. <laughs> uh, shitty schools. Fuck, man. Don't go to... Don't, don't move to Billings, apparently. Uh, all right. Let's have a look at this fucking shit show. Okay. Um, you know, look, it has landscaping. There looks like this is a little pond and shit on here. Uh, what, what the fuck is with these lions? This just looks so tacky already. I was just like, okay, sure, sure. Uh, you know, it looks like someone's idea of wealth, but boy, is it a weird idea of wealth. All right, uh, next. How many outdoor hanging pots do you need? Uh, all right, a lot, apparently. It's a piano in the foyer. All right, so this, this looks like expensive tile in here. Um, and lots of big windows, though, like two thirds of them are covered by the, uh, the entryway roof. Uh, this stairway is interesting, isn't it? it? It doesn't follow the correct flow. So it's like jump up the stairway, but to the side. And at, at least it opens to the correct side. Leather furniture is always an interesting one. This piano, right? Okay. Yeah, I guess maybe. Uh, gas, gas fireplace. The balcony over the top of um, this side, uh, man. The, hmm. These um, what are these called? Uh, these individual um, railing holders have a name. They're really unbalanced, aren't they? With the big fat part on the bottom and nothing on the top. Uh, okay, so you know this is like a, this. This looks like it's a, a nice wood right here. Uh, this ledge is really weird. With the fake plants and the shitty vases on it. All right, so this is this is what an office sort of right inside the door. Uh, all right. I mean, this chair is like uh, eleven hundred dollars. I've I've shopped for chairs, and um, it's all over the place so far, isn't it? You got wood beams, recessed ceilings. But then there's inexplicable like granite there. Uh, what is this fucking wall? Ugh. Um, okay, so there's vents in the floor. That's interesting for 2008. This looks like a fax machine. This guy looks like like a dentist or a doctor lives here. An older one as well. Okay, huge dining table. Um, big clunky chairs. All right, interesting choice. Lots of windows. This this place. Someone you pay someone to wash your windows here. I mean, it is an expensive house, right? Uh, expensive gaudy clock that has no real value. Excellent. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Black chrome, that's in. Uh, like matte chrome like this. They don't use this ever because obviously the person in this chair would die. <laughs> Uh, which is interesting. It's so generically furnished, isn't it? I hope you like tan. Uh, so this is the pantry. Okay, so if you got a lot of china and stuff, there's a lot of drawers, a lot of storage. It makes you wonder who has this much stuff. Okay, oh, okay. I mean, that is massive. I can't believe this is all a continuous countertop. Uh, single barrel sink with sprayer. Uh, huge fridge, massive fridge. Uh, multi-section oven, probably convection. So that's that's nice. We're looking at a five burner stove there. This island is it's huge. Are there two sinks? Yeah, there's a proper sink over here with this big hose, and the dishwasher is over here as well. Uh, why are the cabinets different colors? Like the island feels like it didn't get updated when when the side of the kitchen did. Um, okay, so I mean the dark oak thing is interesting, but dated. This is super dated up here. Um, 
you, you wouldn't see this now. This would be stainless basically everywhere. Uh, massive island, massive island. This is like the normal kitchen is over here. Uh, but obviously this, the gas burners are over here. Uh, another fireplace, a TV that you have to look at like this. Uh, where do you sit and look at this television? The viewing angle is probably okay here. Yeah, this is where the remote is. So someone sits here and looks at that TV way up there. Huh. Well, I guess uh, they probably don't spend much time in this room would be my guess. Interesting floors, ugly ass ceiling. Absolutely ugly. Uh, oh, an outdoor grill area with massive hood. Hmm. Hmm. TV trays. Yeah. I I don't know why this fake plant is here. <laughs> like, why is that fake plant there? There's really not much work surface here for a grill this big. Uh, oh my god. Just this fucking molding up here? Why? <laughs> it's awful. Why? Next... Uh, okay, this is the master. Uh, this this is like a California king. It's huge. This is a bed for people who don't want to actually sleep next to someone, but want to have a double bed. Television here, maybe. Uh, everything it just seems so generic. Like all the furnishings and stuff are so generic. They're not particularly tasteful either, um, but really generic. Like, what is this art? Why? You hate art. This is something you buy and you're like, I have to have art above the bed, but I don't actually like art. All right, next one. Uh, okay, so um, this bathroom is fucking massive. It's massive. Uh, vanity, um, uh, what, do, what do they call this? Um, I, I mean, it's, it's where a lady sits down and does her makeup uh, extensively. There's a TV in here. It's old, but there's a TV in here. I don't know. A lot of linens, I guess? I don't really know that you want to store that many linens where it's damp. There's tons of fucking bathroom storage. Goddamn water. Better well. Better be, 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 be. Um, Man, why do you need a bathroom this big? How much time do you spend in a bathroom? <laughs> it's huge. It's absolutely huge. But, you know, it's nicely laid out and stuff. Let's look at the shower. Come on. That's what we want to see, right? Another bedroom, giant clunky furniture. There's TV in there. You know, it's just, this is a guest bedroom, obviously. Um, this would be like pleasant and nice if it wasn't so fucking generic. It's it's just so generic. Uh, there's a lot of art in this place too, and like none of it looks like art you would find interesting that you would stop and look at. Another fireplace, another gas fireplace. Uh, there's a cat five or cat. There's a networking in this house. So you, that's, you know, it's definitely modern. Oh, well, relatively 12, 13 years old. I don't know what's going on with that art. It looks personal. This looks like it might've been a kid's room. Uh, this is another bathroom. It's got a powder bench as well. Uh, bathtub. We haven't seen a shower yet. There's so much storage. It's double vanities again. Okay, this is probably off the master suite would be my guess. There's, there's a lot of space here. Uh, oh, yeah, the study. So, uh, man, this leather furniture is the worst. Who sit, Who finds leather furniture comfortable? Uh, it's always so sticky. It's always so sticky. Uh this is the only room people are watching TV in so far. We know that. All this stuff. It's just junk. It's not art. It's junk. Uh, this is maybe in the pool house? I'm going to be out in the pool house watching TV, honey. Yeah, this is the pool house. Uh, yeah, it has a pool table in the pool house. And a rocking horse. No, we bought that in an estate sale. Okay. Uh, it's a moderately tasteful bathroom. Moderately, I say. Whoa. Okay, so this is the pool room. 
man. I mean, it's a serious. This is a serious industrial room. I wonder if all the water for for all of uh, the houses back here too. These three tanks. It looks like this is a saltwater pool. Um, wow. It must be. It must be huge. That's the pool house outside again. There's all this useless furniture everywhere. Uh, oh, this is the pool house. This is the pool house. So there's like three kitchens, counting the pool house. And the grandkids like to stay in the pool house. This fucking why is there a piece of glass here? <laughs> it's like Jimmy's dead. Uh, TV fireplace. Yeah, basketball court and a tennis court. This is pretty tight for basketball, right? Because it's just beyond the three-point arc, and obviously not. Not legal with wise. Um, okay, I mean, this looks like it's also strung for volleyball right now. So at least there's, you know, activities. Useless grass. <laughs> like, why? It's a big pool. It is a big pool. Uh, yeah, there better be a better shot of the fucking pool. There's not. Okay. Sure. Big hedge. Okay. There's a shark in the pool. I don't mean to alarm anyone. There's just a fucking shark in the pool. Ah, you know, I mean, there's a lot of seating here. Uh, there's a lot of outdoor space. There's a massive pool, and it really looks, the pool looks brilliant. Uh, everything else in the house just demonstrates complete lack of interesting people. Like, just everyone who ever lived here is boring as all fuck. Um, well, you know, that was interesting. Is a house like this worth two million? I have no fucking clue. But like, why? Why do you need this much space? It, like, it's it's massive. I mean, I, that pool is great, right? Like, I would love that pool. But like, if I were to have that pool, I don't know. Would I need a five bedroom house in front of it? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um... Let's see, uh, what about somewhere else in Billings here on the wrong side of the tracks? That's an empty lot. 900K, oh. It's a multi-unit? Oh my god. This better be a multi-unit property. It's an eight-plex. It was established rental history. Okay. So for slightly less than a million dollars, you can buy an eight-unit apartment building here in downtown Billings. It's been, been up for sale for a while. All units are two bed, one bath. With furniture from Ikea. Uh, property provides each unit with a separate tax code. So it's condo, or could be condo. So you could try to sell out each of the eight units. Uh, multifamily, 1945. Really? Okay, it's been recently updated. This roof is very new. With this stainless steel flashing. Um, evaporative cooling. So, that's interesting as well. Um, no parking data, but it, it obviously has a secured parking lot. These are the mailboxes too. You gotta have a key to get in here. Uh, there's a big gate. Looks like a powered gate. Uh, they didn't bother to rake before taking pictures for some reason. Electric heat as well, so that's interesting as well. Um, is it both buildings, or is it just the one? A lot of outside picks. All right, we're going inside now. Huh. Uh, that looks like raw plywood. That looks like sub four. That has not been finished. That that's exactly what it is. There's supposed to be flooring on top of this. They took it out, and they were like, "No, let's just put three quarter inch plywood down there and and stain it." Oh my god. That's so that's so awful. That is so awful. <laughs> Oh. It's the red, that's the exterior motif brought inside. Okay, this is a very nice sink. No sprayer, but a very nice sink. 
black dishwasher, butcher block. Uh, this looks like it might close. Otherwise, it's in a very bad spot, and you're gonna hit your head on it all the fucking time. Not much cabinet space there. No picture of the stove. This fucking floor. Have you? You've got to be fucking kidding me. You've got to be kidding me with this floor. Okay, the other side of the kitchen is floating and really narrow. Why is there a ladder? <laughs> where where can you climb to? Huh. I I mean this fucking floor. I I cannot fucking believe it. It's literally just unfinished plywood. Wow. I mean okay, sure. This is the electric heat. Heat rises if you put electric heat appliances at the ceiling it's fucking freezing inside just saying this is unfinished drywall it's untaped hasn't been painted no spackle or anything like that why is this place half finished and like imagine coating this floor it's fucking i can't believe it like that is a nightmare it's a nightmare uh all right, a fiberglass shower enclosure, sure. Dark in there. Washer dryer in one unit there. There's no natural gas here, so that's interesting. I I, I don't have any sort of uh, bias towards natural gas. I the sink is I'm mixed on the sink. Uh, this kitchen is awful, but at least it looks functional. I don't understand these at all. I guess you're supposed to sit there right next to the fucking stove? The floor, look at the gap in the floor. It's unfinished subfloor. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that at all. Uh, so one, you, pictures of one unit. This weird trussing in the ceiling. Uh, okay. No, I'm not interested in touring at home. Wow, I mean, you'd need more information, obviously, to buy it because it's an 8-plex. But this unit is awful. And if the other units look like that, I mean, it, I, I don't even know what to make of it. Yeah, what building do you own? You know that ugly red and blue one? Yeah, yeah, the two right next to each other? Yeah, the uglier one. It's a public health advisory. No, no. That that's old too, so it might have um, it might have lead or something. Uh, okay, two hundred thirty-five thousand unknown bed or bath. That's okay. So this is gonna be like a a, a shell or something, right? <laughs> it already looks really interesting. Nice rock piles there. Um, furniture outside. Yes, furniture outside. Why do you ask? <laughs> it looks like it's uh. Right next to the adult um, probation and parole and juvenile parole facility. Uh, all right. Uh, great central location. Close to some of Billings' best amenities. Yeah, sure. It's a multi-family unit. Okay. Air. Air, air none. Uh, confusing information there. Uh, oh, gassed forced air heating. No cooling. That's what that's saying. No parking, apparently. $87 per square foot suggests that it's really, really big. How many units are in it? Um, okay, it doesn't have much of a price history there. No HOA fees. Hey, what do you know? Uh, worst Billings has terrible school. Don't go there if you want to raise children, apparently. Uh, okay. Okay. You know, it's got, it's got a pretty walkable score. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> three pictures, though, so we're not really having a look. So these are mailboxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two packages. So this could have anywhere from eight to ten units in it. It's really, really run down, isn't it? Why are there piles of rocks everywhere? There's no fucking fencing here. Oh my god, it's just like a dirt pit with broken down cars in the backyard. I mean, okay. 
I mean, if you have $235,000 and some explosives, that'll be all right, right? It'll be all right. So we're going to be an all right. We'll be right back. <laughs> 